Hey there, I'm Holly McDonald, a realtor here in Orange County with Compass. And today I wanna to give you some tips. If you just bought a home, now what happens? You've gotten your keys and now what? What should you do? Well, there's a lot, but I wanna give you a few tips that I think are really important for people that they don't often think about once they get the keys. So first of all, one thing that you might wanna consider doing is re-keying the locks or putting on new door locks altogether. The thing is, is a lot of times previous owners and maybe previous, previous owners have keys to these locks floating around. And even though the sellers are supposed to leave all of the keys, it's very often that people will make copies and give them to a friend, give them to a neighbor, give them to a family member. And so who knows where all of the keys are. Just for your own safety and protection, I highly recommend rekeying the property. Secondly, I would say to check out the maintenance items that were in your home inspection report that were not taken care of by the seller. It is a great idea to sit down and chart it out, put it on your calendar, what items need to be taken care of. So you can plan accordingly. My home inspectors tell me that the best way to keep your home in good, safe, functioning order is to keep up with these maintenance items so that they don't turn into a big problem and a big expense down the road. So figure it out. And also, if there are things that you need to budget for, like say your roof is 20 years old and they told you it will probably last 30 years. Well, in 10 years, if you're still in that house or if you sell the house and by then it's shot, you're going to have a reserve budget set aside for that roof. Because again, it can be a big expense and a big pain in the neck if you're not planning for it. Another thing I highly recommend looking into is putting your home into a trust. Many times people buy the properties and they put them in their name and they do what they're gonna do. But if you don't put your home in a trust and you know, worst case scenario, somebody passes away, it's possible the property could go into probate and that just sucks the, the money right out of your home. And there's a lot of expenses involved. The state gets involved, they take their share. And even the family members don't have really any access to sell the property uh, for a long time. So it can be a huge burden. And so just to protect your asset, definitely talk to a trusted trust advisor. I do have a wonderful one. I'm happy to connect you with. She is just a wealth of information. Another thing to do, get it on your list, is you need to hire those maintenance people that you probably don't have. So if you have a pool, you need a pool guy. If you have a, a lawn and you need landscaping or gardening work, hire those people. Um, there are lots of things that you can um, look into. You can ask your realtor, myself, I have a lot of contacts. You can ask the previous owner, you can ask the neighbors, you can look on Nextdoor, you can look on all sorts of different websites and check their references and reviews. But you wanna get those services in place because unfortunately, it's pretty often that I see green lawns turn brown and all sorts of other things that you just don't wanna deal with. Finally, I would highly advise that as you're having repairs and maintenance done to your house, keep a log. This will help you, one, to just have it for your records. And so if down the line you need to reference it, you have it in one spot. And also when you go to sell the property, you're going to be asked to disclose what you've done and when you did it. So it's a lot easier if you just already have this information in one place. Take out your phone. Put it in your note. Super easy. But a lot of people don't do this and they get busy and they think about it, doing it later or for the next big project. And then, you know, next thing you know, seven years has gone by and you haven't jotted anything down and you're digging through your pile of paperwork. So those are some tips that I think will make your home ownership journey much more organized and efficient. So please subscribe, message me, like, and let me know if you have any other home related questions so I can answer them here on this channel and help you with your real estate journey.